to her miseries. Okay. All right, and then she begins to uh, she begins her second stage of building romance. She becomes the student of life when she is exposed uh, to Islam. Okay, so uh, she learns through an encounter with the nation of Islam. This is actually the Islam that was introduced to her by Darnell. So it was not, um, it's not a genuine message of Islam. Okay? And then later on, uh, she meets a group of Muslim women with extreme religious views and practices, which she labels as the sorority. And then eventually, she meets other practicing Muslims. So this, the, the last group, the other practicing Muslims are the ones who actually um, uh, taught her or teach her um, the, the genuine message of Islam, the, the real message of Islam. Okay, so uh, throughout this process, uh, she experiences confusion and she almost uh, abandoned her newfound religion, which is Islam, um, because she was so frustrated and then um, it has affected her life uh, negatively. However, um, also through this encounter, um, with people who have different ideas or understanding about Islam, it shapes her understanding and this enables a process of spiritual maturity. Okay. And then as for maturity, the third stage, um, she continues to learn, she, um, she's very determined, and then uh, eventually by practicing religion, um, I analyze the wearing of hijab and also performing prayer or salah uh, as the practicing religion. Um, uh, and then it, it does not only affirm her belief, but it gives her a sense of identity as a Muslim woman. So, um, okay. uh, she undergone uh, many challenges due to Islamophobia. That's internal conflict, okay? So, uh, and Muslim extremists the internal problem within the Muslim community itself, and also her own mistake. Um, at one point, she she strayed away from wearing, um, or from dressing modestly, and she disrespects her parents because of the re religious uh, difference. Okay. And then eventually, she returns. So returns here is, is not really physically, but um, emotionally or psychologically re returning to her family because she re-establishes the broken bond between uh, her family and friends, her Christian family and friends. Um, and then she fixed the connection due to their religious difference. Uh, and then she recognized the change within her, uh, her personality and attitude. And obviously this is through a self-reflection that she becomes a better Muslim. And she acknowledges finally the fact that trials and challenges are part of life because initially she refused to forgive what the sorority has done to her. Okay. And then as conclusion, so the, the, the concept of diaspora is once again this, uh, deconstructed. Uh, it is a transition or migration of spiritual rather than physical. So this redefined Renee's sense of identity and belonging. So Islam um, gave Renee a sense of identity and through the facilitation or uh, the use of third space, she is able to exercise the choices to wear hijab and perform solo. So that's all for me. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please help yourself to our uh, refreshment before the next uh, presentation. Uh, uh, <laughs>